Ok, I'm really happy we got here. Now comes the fun part of the design process. We will animate the rectangles and let me show you something at first. I go to insert. Do not repeat those steps. I just want to show you something. I take two shapes, just quickly. I click on both. I go to animations and I make them both fly in. I open up the animation pane. I make them with previous. And now watch what happens. I make it longer. As you see, both of these are going from the bottom as I use fly in. I make them two seconds and I want to show you something which we will use in this design. I double click on the animation. I go to effect. And as you see, we have some tools here, which not often people use in PowerPoint and they definitely should. This makes the animations really better, more smooth. And as you see, it's even called smooth end and start. And on one animation, I make a totally smooth end. And now watch what happens. As I play them, this one goes with the same speed through the entire animation. And this one goes faster and at the end, it slows down and it enters up smoothly. This is something I want to use in our design and we will go right into it now. I delete of course the rectangles and let's work on our template. I have my selection pane open. If you lost it, go to home, select selection pane and it will open and I make the last rectangle visible. I select all five rectangles because I know they are here. I go to animations and I use a fly in animation as I used before. Now, as you see, five animations have appeared in the animation pane. I select the first one. I make it with previous. Now I click on the first one. By holding the shift key, I select all of those animations and I make them a little bit longer. For example, one second. I will preview now the effect we have by making play from and we obviously can't see anything because the black one is covering it up. We will play with the timings later on once we have all the animations complete but for now I will just extend the duration by quarter a second of each of those animations. I think it should be shorter because this will be a real slow animation now but this is only for us so we know what is going on on the presentation. Now let's play it and see what happens. Ok, as you see they are all slowly coming in. I double click to check it out. I forgot to set the smooth ends. You can of course do that in bulk by selecting all of the animations, double clicking on any of them and just making a maximal smooth end. PowerPoint will automatically adjust it depending on the length of the animation. As you see the longest one has 2 seconds and I preview it once again. Alright, it already looks nicer. As you see they are flying quickly in and once they are in the middle, they are smoothly appearing in the middle. So to recap everything we did in this lesson, I selected all of the rectangles, I made a fly in animation, so they fly in from the bottom, afterwards I made the animation a little bit longer by selecting its duration and by double clicking on it I set the smooth end to a maximum amount. This is how the animation in this design begins. I hope you are following along, you are on the same step and let us proceed to the next lesson because you will really like how the animation goes when you add some effects up to it and they aren't even so complicated. You can really easily replicate them and use them in the future as a template and as a guideline for all designs you make. I hope you did like it, see you soon in the next lesson where we continue to make the logo reveal intro number one.